in the car, we were coming back from Skibbereen, and just outside of Clonakilty, our supervisor crashes the car. Thank you Completely so much. her fault now, she blames everyone else on the road. Like, Campbell, oh, introduce this. And, um, introduce so we she doesn't know what's on. decided, we got out of the car and we were kind of like, she was driving like a maniac for the whole trip. And so we got out of the car and we had like, the four of us had like a little kind of confuzzled, kind of decided we weren't getting back in the car anyway. And we told her this. Or, okay, the first thing she says when she crashes the car is, there goes my insurance. She doesn't ask who any of us are or anything like that. Um, so we get out of the car, we say we're not going back in the car, and she tells us we're being dramatic. And then she fires us after, like previously, we'd already like two of us had already quit previously, but she fired us anyway. So you know, she crashes the car and fires us. So we were none too pleased. Um, she doesn't wait, give us money for a taxi or a bus or anything. She leaves us at the side of the road in Clonakilty. Right. It was a good thing that um, the girl there, like boyfriend, uh, was able to pick us up. And um, we rang the head guy. And in fairness, the head guy was really good to us. He like offered us all our jobs back and. He was really nice, but seriously, she was an insane driver. Like, and she, the people we crashed into were nicer to us than she was. Like, the only thing concerning her was that uh, her insurance went. And yeah, and like we were, like nobody was hurt or anything. So some of the two of the girls said like some of our backs were sore or whatever, but we were grand. But it was more the shock than anything else. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna tell us this story about his love. <laughs> okay, t tell us, like, how you first met? Um, we were in town and we were friends with each other. <laughs> oh, tell me the most funniest thing ever happened to you, either drinking or just in a normal day. Oh, the time you were in McDonald's and you left your dress. And <gasps> yeah, I was doing a fashion show, show in school and we uh, went to shop to kind of get clothes from the shop. And I bought this, I got this dress at like 75 year old. And we left the shop and I left the dress there. And we came back and I was like, oh my god, the dress is gone, kind of thing. And then there's like Spanish people sitting at the table where I was. And I was like, sorry, have you seen the dress? And they were like, no. So we went down and we like checked the surveillance cameras. And they had actually taken the dress and ran when I came over and asked them for it. So I was like, oh crap. So then my dad had to go up to the shop and pay back the money. And he was not happy. Uh. Danny O'Shea was his name, and I remember that there'd be something on the news that there's someone after being rescued from Oaks Key River. Huh. And um, it was Danny that was passing along, and he rescued him. Hmm. Uh, there were several more that um, he saved their lives by drowning. Wow. But, um, what what year was this? Was this a long time ago, or just be many years back? I'd be very young that time yeah. now. Um, my mother would be saying like that. Danny's after rescuing someone. You know, he was a great swimmer. He was a fantastic swimmer. I heard my mother saying it. And um, then he got an awful death himself. At the yeah. end, he was. Um, he was crossing somewhere in town and he was blown up in the air by some car. Like he was so good to people that, uh, you know, sometimes I'd be going home, you know, and traffic pass on the green men, they don't obey it. I just, I never see his accident, but sometimes it would flash through me, you know. And um, you'd be afraid that something like that would happen to you. Um, just find out more about it. Mm -hmm. He was a fantastic swimmer, I heard my mother saying it. Mm -hmm. And you just can imagine like that if you were a fantastic swimmer and you just spotted someone, mm -hmm. you know. So I must find out more because you know the the tubes that has tied up, mm -hmm. sometimes I pass it on and they be in the water, mm -hmm. which you know, that's not nice because they're to save people. Mm -hmm. I'm Trace, Smoochie Boy, aka. Um, 
Um, basically, I have a story to tell you about um, about um, something that happened uh, maybe two years ago. Um, like, okay, this was about um, four o'clock in the morning, early in the morning, and you know, I, I just came back from you know clubbing. Uh, I'm afraid to say, but never mind. See, the thing is that at that time, you know, I was walking home with my friends, and I saw a guy standing by the river, and he was looking into the river, and I wondered why he was looking into the river. So I walked over to him, you know, and basically there was like, a, apparently he threw his mobile phone into the river because he was angry at the person he was talking to. He was very drunk anyway. So, um, for some reason, I don't know, somebody, there was like a couple of his friends were there with him, so one of them suggested that he goes into the river, and this is the River Lee, like, you know, by the Clarion Hotel, and this river is really bad, it's night time, it's freezing really bad, and this guy just for some reason actually listened to his friend and jumped in. To get the phone? To get the phone, <laughs> because he just sees a bleeping light inside the river, so the phone is still on even though it's under the river, you know. So the guy jumps in and the river was up to his shoulder, shoulder, oh, yeah. you know. So he jumps in, about two seconds later he starts shouting that he wants to get out. But he couldn't get out because the wall was so high, I don't oh, yeah. even know how he jumped in, but he just jumped all the way in, you know. Oh, yeah. but, so he could, we couldn't get him out, so nobody could get him out. So I, I walked over to the place with the saving thing, oh, yeah. with the um, lifeguard. Yeah, yeah I, and I took the, I took it, I threw it into the river, and we all tried to pull him out, but we couldn't. He was too heavy. Wow. So um, as we were pulling him out, believe it or not, the police, the guard, they came by. They saw all this commotion happening, <laughs> and you know what they did? They just drove away. They drove away. They didn't do anything. They didn't do nothing. They did, they, did, did they talk to you? Or did, did they, they talk to me? No. I mean, did they stop? They didn't stop. They just came. They stopped in front of us, seen everything. They stayed for about 30, um, two, two, three seconds. They just stopped. You could yeah. tell they stopped. And then they now drove on. They drove away. So basically, we are on our own. Like, so we tried to pull him. We couldn't pull him. So I was. So I told the guy to swim over. To swim to the other side. Yeah. To, across the river, and he was like, he was afraid of swimming, that like he's scared. That. And then after he was in there for actually 15 minutes, because nobody, we couldn't pull him in, and we were running out of ideas. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going. I went over to the others, and I told him I'll swim across to him, and he comes across to me as well, and then I'll pull him away. So in my way, swimming over to him, I swam over to him, and I had, and he, he was afraid to come. He said he couldn't come, so I had to swim all the ways across, and I cut, I cut the thing, and then I was trying to drag him away. As I was dragging him away, luckily enough we were getting there, you know, yeah. because I'm not a very good swimmer, but you know, at least it was only like up to shoulder height. Like, so I was okay with it, like you know. And so when I got to the middle I realized the water was way deeper. So I told him to swim across because he had the lifeguard um, thing. But he was afraid to so I told him I keep telling him and then I finally he came. The water was freezing. So I understood what he was going through right then. So um he swam over, he was swimming over so I met him halfway and I dragged him, I was dragging him. And as I was coming back, mud all over me, you know, I was freezing. Do you know what happened? The guards came again. The guards comes again, they called out of the place and they shined the light on us. Like, what are you doing there? What happened? They put a shine, they shine the light on me, they shine the light on him. And then they shine the light on me again. And do you know what they asked? They asked me, what did you do to him? I was like, I didn't, I didn't do nothing. They were like, can we see some um, IDs, please? I was, I, I was surprised. I was shocked. So I got out and I took out my student ID, which was the only ID I had on me. Yeah. And I took out my student ID and I gave, I tried to give it to them, and they were looking at it. And the guy now came out, like he came out, and he actually walked up to the guy and said, "No, leave him alone. He just saved my life." Wow. You know. And then the guys now shined the light on me and shined the light on him, and I said. Are you sure? And I said yes. <laughs> yeah. And then the guards did not, did not give me my, back my idea. They said, yeah. just go, go. They didn't even say thank you oh. or anything. You know. Oh. But I don't care. At least I saved somebody's life, and you know the guy was grateful enough to help me. You no. Know. Well, but it's how, just, how did you feel like when the guards did that? Um. Actually, when the guards came, I was expecting like, wow, good, good service yeah, to the community, but. You know, you know the guards. I don't know. They have a one-point view of life. Was. Right. So 
Um, yeah, it's okay anyway. It's okay. You I feel face, bad, uh, really, because I was okay with it. Do you think that happens a lot? Uh, that kind of mistake. It was like it was I mean, a really stupid mistake because you could see the phone inside the river at the bottom of the river, even though the river was high. You could just see the lights on, yeah. you know. And I, I don't know why he jumped because there was a ladder. Oh. There was a ladder that goes down yeah, from the other it, side. The ladder jumped. goes down, but it doesn't go all the way down. So when he got to the ladder and got a little bit to the last bit of the ladder, he had to jump down into the river. So he was able to jump down but he wasn't able to jump up oh, yeah, to yeah. grab the ladder and come out oh. so that was the problem he had you know oh. and and he was too heavy so we couldn't pull him out i, but <laughs> I don't know why he did that uh it was just strange uh, cool. uh, that's my story anyway cool. thank you obi you're welcome man